Fans have patiently waited for Virgin River to return to Netflix, and it has finally arrived. But it looks like things aren't going to be all rainbows and butterflies this time. Why? Well, some very observant Virgin River viewers have pointed out a huge plot hole as Season 4 returns, and they're not happy about it. But what is it, and do writers have an explanation for it? Let's dig a little deeper today, starting with the plot hole that had the fans irritated. So we all binge Season 3 of the show. Mel and Jack go to a fertility clinic to discuss her pregnancy. At the same time, Lizzie's still bitter about her breakup with ex Ricky. And then finally, we see that Doc and Hope are finally back together at the start of the new season. Now that the fourth season is here, fans were hoping to get some answers. For instance, what happened to Preacher while he was out in the woods? We all saw him unconscious, but when did he regain his consciousness? And then what happened? Fans were pretty quick to bring out a confusing aspect of Colin Lawrence's role as Preacher and his plot while discussing the first episode of the series season on Reddit. Viewers were kind of pissed that they instantly saw Preacher back in the kitchen playing happily. As obsessive audiences, don't we deserve the right to know what went down in the woods all the time he was passed out, some people were even quite puzzled because they'd completely forgotten Preacher and the entire woods debacle. But why was Preacher in the woods? Season 3 ends with Preacher seeing an old friend of Paige's who claims she is leaving town for good and wants to say adieu to Christopher. But first, Preacher insisted on having a word with Paige, so the two drove to the forest clearing where they knew she was hiding. The friend picked up a Pepsi for him at the store on the way there. He drank it on the drive to the woods, but as he neared his destination, he began to feel off. This happened when the so-called friend poisoned Preacher's can leaving him to pass out in the woods. Then, after leaving him comatose on the ground, Paige's friend just snatched his phone and bolted. Also, why did Preacher even agree to the drive? Like, come on, we're all grown-ups here. At least we hope so. Anyway, being a sane adult, why would you ever choose to go on a drive with someone you don't even know that well? Kids, make this a learning lesson. So, what we have established so far is that Preacher was apparently drugged and abandoned in the woods to die. But then again, all of us keep thinking, why in his right mind would he agree to this creepy drive? As it turns out, he thought he was helping Chris Christopher and Paige get back together, but in reality, he was assisting Christopher's father in kidnapping Christopher. Although Christopher is presumed to still be with his father, Wes, at the start of Season 4, Preacher is seen working in the kitchen at Jack's bar, apparently healed from his experience. And that isn't even the only plot hole. If you think that was annoying, wait till you hear this one out. So technically, when writers, directors, and all the masterminds are making the show, obviously a lot of thought process and research goes into it, but it looks like the Virgin River team might have to call in some researchers and experts. Why? Well, the fans have figured out yet another plot hole that just doesn't align with the real-life laws. Before you get confused, hear us out. Those who saw the last episode of Season 3 of Virgin River know that Charmaine, Jack's ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child, decide to marry her almost brand new lover Todd, despite having major doubts about him. Charmaine is spiteful and determined to get revenge on Jack for rejecting her in love, so she and Todd have threatened to uproot the twins and seek full custody in order to cut Jack off totally. However, Reddit user Renda Lindsay argues that this is just a real solution or even an option given the fact that the show Virgin River takes place in California, and Californian laws don't allow this to happen. If you happen to have a thing against intricate law details, here's what you need to know. The Reddit user said that it's the law of California that paternity can be proven with a simple DNA test taken before a baby is born, and that ends any legal dispute over custody. The show's focus on legal battles that lasted a year and cost thousands of dollars are confusing. In California, a father has 50% custody of his or her child until it can be established that the father is a jerk, and he's legally required to pay child support, so it looks like either the writers didn't know about this law or maybe, just maybe, they have some more surprises in store for us. We really hope it's the latter. But if it works out, Jack's gonna be really happy. Just what does this mean then? Well, we guess the custody fight is just an attempt to intimidate us viewers. It would be a mistake for the author to risk making the drama look even more ridiculous by breaking the law. Besides, no one's interested in watching a drawn-out court battle when there are more compelling plot lines, such as Mel's, played by Alexandra Breckenridge, and her search for the father of her unborn child. When season 4 premieres, this may be a real benefit for Jack, and by extension, Mel. Jack has already hired a lawyer to represent him in his dispute with Charmaine and Todd. All this will only be possible if the show stays true to the reality of parental responsibility in California. We can only hope that this conflict will be resolved quickly. Plus, there's the medical blunder to think of. Now that we started, we just keep digging ourselves in this confusing void of plot holes. They just keep coming up, one after the other. Fans have pointed out a crucial medical mistake in Mel's interactions with Vernon, Doc Mullen, and Virgin River. Mel has helped her neighbors and friends with various treatments and checkups during the course of the series. Some viewers aren't so easy on the doc, though. They pointed out that the fans have been made to doubt that she is the competent and the meticulous nurse practitioner she professes to be by one seemingly little act. When Mel and Doc disregard even the most fundamental standards of medical care, several viewers were more irritated with the show. Apparently, the fans were perpetually cringing at the lack of gloves used. Yikes, maybe germ spreading just wasn't a priority on the show. In other news for the Virgin River world. First off, good news. 
Virgin River is renewed for season five. Season three of Virgin River was so successful that the network decided to commission a second season. Despite there being no official news on season four, we heard production had already begun. Even if it doesn't get a lot of attention, Netflix's new show has been a huge success. There have been 333.9 million hours of worldwide viewing for the show during its top 10 hours on Netflix. Between July 4th, 2021 and August 15th, 2021, season three logged a total of 225.12 million hours of worldwide viewership, placing it firmly in the global top 10. So with such good results pouring in soon after the first three seasons, they had received a two-season renewal order. Next, the expected date for Virgin River Season 5 Netflix launch. Season 5 is still in development, so an exact release date on Netflix is still a ways off. It takes about six to seven months for the show to appear on Netflix ultimately, based on production timelines and release schedules from previous years. We may expect a new season of the show in 2023. It's possible that by the summer of 2023, once production on Season 5 of Virgin River concludes in November of 2022, the fifth season will be available on Netflix. Stay tuned, y'all. It's not that far away. Plus, according to the updates from Alexander Breckenridge, unlike seasons 1, 2, and 3, the fifth one will have 12 episodes instead of 10. The more, the merrier. Finally, have they even started filming yet? Good news for everyone. Season 5 of Virgin River has started filming. A picture of a virtual table read with the actors was posted to the show's Instagram account, announcing the start of filming for season 5. And that's not it. With the announcement of the production of the fifth season, they gave us some more saucy info. They also revealed that Patrick Sean Smith, a star of hit shows including Greek, Supernatural, and Chasing Life, would take over as showrunner for Season 5. Season 5 has been scheduled to begin production in March of 2022, but due to unforeseen circumstances, Alexander Breckenridge reported in January of 2022. Thankfully, we know now that the cast and crew are ready to go. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the writers will be coming live to justify the plot holes, or are we just going to have to tolerate it all? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!